Hey, what's up, everybody? So let's talk a little bit about Schmeck. This is the funniest thing um, that I think most of us sort of understand. It's, it's all about Schmeck, 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 right? You're hearing this word all the time, and it's really interesting how this kind of came about. I was once on a podcast with someone, and I was telling them, you know, you want foods to balance hunger, energy, and cravings, and sleep and mood, and I was talking about this idea of HEC, or S-H-M-E-C, and they said, oh, I love that. That's all about keeping your heck or schmeck in check, right? And so that has stuck and become one of the things that I'm most known for. And it is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Because it's a very simple way to remember how the metabolism is speaking to you. The metabolism is speaking to you through what it's doing with its hormones. You have biofeedback signals all of the time that are speaking to you, sleep, hunger, mood, energy, craving, schmeck. This is a great way to tell whether your metabolism is balanced or not. A sustainable fat loss, healthy approach is gonna be one that keeps your schmeck in check and also causes you to um, effortlessly lower your calorie intake. This is ultimately what we are after. If your schmeck is in check and you're losing body fat and your vitals like blood pressure and heart rate and cholesterol and triglycerides and fasting blood sugar, etc., are all balanced, then you are eating the diet that's correct for you. So what you have learned, hopefully, or starting to learn, is that your formula is different than uh, everyone else's. What we are looking to do is give you something that you can do for the rest of your life. And that means individualizing your approach. Keeping your schmeck in check is going to have a different sort of formula than me keeping my schmeck in check. You might need you know, bacon and eggs and butters and creams and sort of more of a high fat, lower starch diet. I might need a lower fat, higher starch, higher vegetable diet. What we know is that most of us do very well on protein, fiber, and water-rich foods. That's why you oftentimes hear me talking about soup, salad, scramble shakes, and stir fries as the primary way to keep your schmeck in check while lowering your calories. But the idea is to build a diet and lifestyle for yourself. That's the whole idea because we're so individual. The one thing you need to understand about schmeck is that sometimes people get caught up on sleep, hunger, mood, energy, and cravings, but it's kind of a euphemism or a catch-all phrase for all biofeedback in the body. So when I say schmeck, keep your schmeck in check, yes, I mean sleep, hunger, mood, energy, and cravings, but I also mean uh, exercise performance and exercise recovery, libido, uh, erections, uh, uh, menstrual cycle regularity, signs and symptoms related to uh, physical pains like headaches and joint pains and your digestion is a key indicator of what's going on with your metabolism. So digestion is critical. Are you getting gas and bloating and all these kinds of things? So schmeck is sort of a catch-all phrase for all biofeedback in the body and you want to be aware of this. One of the best ways to do this is to think about what your schmeck is doing from meal to meal and from day to day and then even week to week. So between breakfast and lunch, is your schmeck in check? Does eating cause your schmeck to go out of check or keep it in check? For example, oftentimes when I start eating, I want to keep eating so that can throw my schmeck out of check. So sometimes what I will do is skip maybe breakfast for a period of time or only eat in the morning when I'm hungry. Many people think they need to eat as soon as they wake up, even though they may not be hungry. So I wait until I am actually hungry. Sometimes I'm hungry first thing, sometimes I'm hungry at 11 o'clock, but my whole job is to keep Schmeck in check. Then of course, at the end of the day, I can kind of think what threw my Schmeck out of check. Like maybe if I didn't get a good night's sleep or I've been stressed out with a deadline at work, that might throw my Schmeck out of check. And I want to know about that stuff. Did I get my walk in? Do I need to take a nap? Like those kinds of things. And of course, at the end of the week, I can also evaluate and say, how did I do with keeping my schmeck in check? And remember, schmeck is a way to sort of get a window into the functioning of your hormonal metabolism. When you're trying to optimize body composition, lose weight and stay healthy, you need two things primarily. You need a calorie deficit and you need to keep schmeck or hormonal balance in check. 
So hopefully that helps you understand why, why, why keeping Schmeck in check is so important. So I want you to keep that in mind and make sure you are evaluating your biofeedback day to day, meal to meal, week to week, and making sure you are spending all of your time or most of your time balancing this key determinant of whether you're going to make this sustainable or not. So hopefully that's helpful for you and I will talk to you next time.